a lifetime. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to find a lapse time and estimate the duration of time spent. Let's begin. Andy helps her mother in cleaning their house. They started cleaning at 7.32 a.m. and finish at 8.25 a.m. Now let's answer the following question. How long did they clean the house? And about how long did they clean the house? The first question is asking for the elapsed time. While the second question is asking for the estimated elapsed time. But wait, do you know what elapsed time means? Elapsed time is the actual time taken from the starting time up to the ending time. Let's say the start time is 9 o'clock a.m. and the end time is 9.30 a.m. If we add 10 minutes to the start time, the time will be 9.10 a.m. If we spend another 10 minutes, time will be 9.20 a.m. And if we add another 10 minutes, it will be 9.30 a.m. If we combine these times taken, we have 30 minutes as the elapsed time. Now let's have a quick review about time. In 9.35, 9 represents the number of hours, while 35 is the number of minutes. If we add another one here, 19 represents the number of seconds, while AM and PM refers to the meridian. AM stands for Ante Meridian, which means from midnight until morning before noon, while PM stands for Post Meridian, which means afternoon until before midnight. Another thing that you should know is that one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. We will use this later on. Now going back to our problem, we have two ways of finding a lapse time. First one is by using a number line. Let's make a number line starting from 7.30 a.m. skipping every 5 minutes up to 8.25 a.m. There you go. In the number line, here is the start time, which is 7.32 a.m. Well, 8.25 is the end time. Now, let's count the number of minutes from start time up to the end time. Starting from 7.32 to 7.35, we have 3 minutes. From 7.35 to 7.40, we have 5 minutes. Same with 7.40 to 7.45, which is also 5 minutes. If we combine this, they are 10 minutes. Same from 7.45 to 7.55 is 10 minutes. 7.55 to 8.05 is 10 minutes. 8.05 to 8.15 is also 10 minutes. And lastly, 8.15 to 8.25, which is our end time, is another 10 minutes. If we combine these times taken, we have exactly 53 minutes, which is our total elapsed time. Now let's see if our answer is the same using our second method, which is subtraction. Remember, this example is only applicable at start time and end time are either both a.m. or both p.m. Here in our problem, the start and end time are both a.m. Now to solve for the elapsed time, simply subtract the start time from the end time. Here, the end time is 8.25 a.m. minus the start time which is 7.32 a.m. Now let us subtract from right to left starting from minutes. Here we can see that 25 is smaller than 32, which means we cannot subtract this right away. We need to borrow first from hours. Now let's borrow 1 hour from 8, now 8 becomes 7. Then let's add 1 hour that we borrowed to 25 minutes. But first, let's convert 1 hour to minutes. We know that 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes. Therefore, let's add 60 minutes to 25, which is 85 minutes. Now let's subtract. 
85 minus 32 is 53, while 7 minus 7 is 0. Therefore, our answer is 53 minutes, which means they cleaned the house for exactly 53 minutes. Great job! We already found the elapsed time, which is 53 minutes. Next, let's find out its estimated elapsed time. Let's use the subtraction method. To find estimated elapsed time, subtract estimated start time from estimated end time. First, let's write down the actual times. There you go. We can get the estimated times by rounding off the minutes of each time. The rounded time for 8.25 is 8.30 a.m. Well, 732 will be 730. Now let us subtract. 30 minus 30 is 0. And 8 minus 7 is 1. Therefore, our answer is 1 hour. Therefore, they cleaned the house for about 1 hour. Good job! We now got the estimated elapsed time, which is about 1 hour. Now let's have more examples. During weekends, Allison helps her mother in washing their clothes. They started washing at 4.28 p.m. and finished at 5.09 p.m. Again, to find the elapsed time, simply subtract time from the end time. End time here is 5.09 p.m. minus the start time which is 4.28 p.m. Since 9 is smaller than 28, it means that we need to borrow 1 hour from 5. Now 5 becomes 4. Now let's add 1 hour which is 60 minutes to 9 and that is 69. Now let us subtract 69 minus 28 is 41 while 4 minus 4 is 0. Now we got 41 minutes. Therefore, they wash their clothes for exactly 41 minutes. Now let's try to get its estimated elapsed time. Let's round off 5.09 p.m. which is 5.10 while 428 is 430. Let's subtract. Since 10 is smaller than 30, it means that we need to borrow 1 hour from 5. Now 5 becomes 4. Then let's add 1 hour, which is 60 minutes, to 10. And that is 70. Now 70 minus 30 is 40. While 4 minus 4 is 0. Therefore, we got 40 minutes. Therefore, they wash their clothes for about 40 minutes. Awesome! Now, I'll give you more examples. Jeff studied for his exam. He started at 9.17 a.m. and finished at 10.35 a.m. How long did he study? Remember, to find the elapsed time, simply subtract start time from the end time. End time here is 10.35 a.m. while the start time is 9.17 a.m. Let us subtract. Since 35 is bigger than 17, we don't need to borrow from hours anymore. We can subtract this right away. 35 minus 17 is 18, while 10 minus 9 is 1. We got 1 hour and 18 minutes. Therefore, he studied for exactly 1 hour and 18 minutes. Now, let's try to get its estimated elapsed time. Let's round off 10.35, which is 10.40 a.m. While 9.17 is 9.20 a.m. Let us subtract. 40 minus 20 is 20, while 10 minus 9 is 1. Now, we got 1 hour and 20 minutes. Therefore, he studied for about 1 hour and 20 minutes. Great! Now, let's go to our last example. Chris is working as a part-time tutor every day. He starts at 10 o'clock in the morning and ends at 1 o'clock in the afternoon without breaks. How long does he work as a tutor per day? Let's try answering this first using a number line. Starting from the start time, which is 10 in the morning or 10 a.m., up to the end time, which is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which is 1 p.m. If we try to add 1 hour to 10 a.m., which is our start time, the time will be 11 a.m. 
if we add one more hour, it will be 12 noon. And if we add another one hour, we will reach our end time, which is 1 p.m. It means that if we combine these times taken, we will have three hours as the total elapsed time. Therefore, he works for three hours every day as a part-time tutor. Now, let's try to answer this using our second method, which is subtraction. Again, we need to subtract the start time from the end time. End time here is 1 in the afternoon or 1 p.m. And the start time is 10 o'clock in the morning or 10 a.m. Here, we can see that the end time and the start time are neither both a.m. nor both p.m. Remember, if the start time and the end time are a.m. and p.m., we need to add 12 hours to the end time first, then subtract. Since the end and the start time are a.m. and p.m., let's add 12 hours to our end time. Our end time here is 1 p.m., so that will be 12 plus 1, which is 13. Now let us subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0 minutes, while 13 minus 10 is 3 hours. We got the same answer, which is 3 hours. Therefore, he works for 3 hours every day as a part-time tutor. Wow, great job students! Now here are the things that you learned today.